Hello and welcome back to the Mr. Blueberry Cheesecake channel. Today we're going to do a random multiplayer match. Let's do the small continents and I will get back to you if we have a match. And today we're going to play Kiku because I feel like playing Kiku. So I'll let you know when we have a match and then we'll go ahead. By the way, if you like my content, you can always like and subscribe. And now... Oh... Hashtag Nilla. We have a game. All right. Oh, it's a mirror. Looks like we are going to go over here. Yes, over here. And we are going to upgrade our city. Take a workshop. And what is my opponent doing? Oh, they are playing real fast let's go over here okay we see a village let's take a warrior and yeah, turn we can see there's a couple of fruits a couple of bananas we like bananas bananas are cool and that means that we can do this oh no port access that is that is unfortunate that is really unfortunate and what we can do next turn is take organization and eat these fruits. Uh, can we also do this? We take org, which is five. We need nine stars. I guess so. This is fine. Not sure if I needed that, but can never be too sure. Uh, so perhaps that may be a misplay because I can, I, I, I'm trying to think whether or not I can upgrade with um, a port and a fruit, but I don't have a fruit if I, I don't have organization. So maybe a misplay. On my part here. Should have waited. Um, just one turn. They're taking their time though. I mean it's. You, you can make a lot of choices here. With, with Kiku. Kiku tends to have decent forest traits. And this is kind of interesting. That I have a lot of bananas. Bananas. Okay so let's continue our plan. Waddle over here, waddle over there, go over here, and what we can do is, should we take an explorer or a workshop? I'm going with a workshop here. That's kind of a gamble, but I'm hoping that in this case we get lucky. And that is what we like about this game. You can gamble and sometimes you get lucky. I'm kind of curious how they got a higher score than I did. Okay, that's a ruin. So what I do want to is get onto the water. See, if I had waited one turn and I would have had a warrior over here this turn which is just a bit better than what I have now also would have allowed me to be on the water one turn quicker and we also see that there's a coastline over here meaning that either this is a nice river which is quite probable let's see yeah, it is a river. So we're going to walk around the river. We see a lot of animals here, meaning that there's probably a village on this tile. Wait, what? Probably on this tile. Let's go over here, train another warrior. Try getting onto that water uh, as soon as possible. And also take a look at these farms here. Farms are not super common. Oh, hello. 
Well, that's annoying. But we are going to grab that village if they are so aggressive. So what I'm thinking here is we grab hunting and we go for archery so that we can start fighting on this uh, side of the map with the archers. Archery is really underrated on continents, especially on smaller maps. Just being able to whittle down the amount of units your opponent has without taking retaliation, that can really stack up. It's really nice to, uh, to do that. Hello. It's, uh, ooh, that hurts. Uh, over here? Okay, so it was right. So let's go over here. I know about that part. And I can... I mean, if I heal it, it just dies. Uh, let's put it over here. And... So we have a couple of options here. I like the uh, the idea of hunting into uh, archery because I'm low-key screwed over with the way this map generated. And forestry is not great now. I need a way to fight back. And if they can take this village from me, which they obviously can, uh, which really sucks. This is, <laughs> this is, this is really, really great. <laughs> really great. Thanks, Midiwon. <laughs> Thank you, Midiwon. This game is not going my way. <laughs> it is not going my way. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see how far we can get. So I'll just start chipping at them. Uh, this is not that bad of a play. Especially now that we probably have a way to siege them. No matter what they do exactly. That was kind of a... It's kind of a ballsy move, but I have to make moves because I'm not in a good place. <laughs> I mean, this village is going to help me a lot. Because it also has water access, which is really nice because that's exactly what I desperately need. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're not going to take that from me. Are you going to hit? That's not a good trade for you. Take an explorer? No, no explorers. Th what does that tell us about them? And them specifically? Uh, we can do this and this and then this and then this and this and we've effectively reduced the amount of units they have and that ruin it, it will it will see its moment soon I hope uh, but what I do want is an explorer Okay, so what I thought has in fact been confirmed is that we are very close to one another and that there is a very probably a good chance of me actually getting onto the other continent. Especially with all of these archers. We can keep pressure on this and we can also defend whatever they are trying to do over here. 
But we are probably still behind one village. Oh, uh, they're taking their time. You know what? It's time to uh, plug myself a bit more. Um, if you haven't watched the Polytuber battle, it is a really fun... It's, it's actually two videos. And they are really enjoyable. I had a lot of fun editing them, as well as playing them, of course. And I, I hope to do more of those. I really loved it. It was a lot of fun. And we are going to have way more fun uh, doing stuff like that. And yeah. Let's get started, of course, with the uh, game I'm going to play against Eastpark. I don't know how it is going to work exactly yet. Maybe it will be a 1v1. Probably Ibo in that case. Maybe it's going to be a 2v2 with, uh, with another couple of cool guys. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you guys want to uh, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me. And that is going to be awesome. Now, I don't think that my opponent here really wants to play this game anymore. <laughs> they they seem kind of desperate <laughs> for this one city. And if you don't have a way to get me off of that city, then and you don't think that you can win if you don't have the city, then you should just give up and not waste my time. Okay. Well, I'll I'll let them I'll let them waste their time. Uh, let's go over here. Try another warrior. Move you back. Let's uh, grab this. Let's um, get you over here. Train another warrior. And sure, why not just get that guy into the raft? Okay, if they don't make a move. I will uh, cut this part out. Huh, interesting. They were already getting their scouts ready. But yeah, that's what happens if you give up. You don't know if you were actually winning. Giving up is always bad, people. Don't, don't give up. Giving up is such a bad play. It loses you the game. And we win. Oh, we're getting back to 1500 ELO. So let's take a look at what happened here. Okay, so they have a very watery spawn. And they decide to go this way, which... Eh, that's fine. Took a workshop. See our steps over here. And let's just focus on what they were doing. Okay, they move, they see a village. Nothing wrong here. They see a lot of animals. It's kind of great. Get hunting. Hunting is, in general, pretty good play. So they do have three villages, whereas I had only one. So that kind of sucked for me. They spam a lot of warriors. And they do get lucky in finding that. And they can level up their city, which is really nice for them. That really helps them a lot. They get climbing, which is... It is a gamble. And they don't even make use of it very well. Like... They, they, get, they get climbing here. And then they don't step onto that <laughs> mountain. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand what's happening there. Okay, so they, they fight me off of that village. They get sailing to get that ruin. They get another ruin. Uh, take an explore from that ruin. Okay, well, that's very helpful. They land their warrior raft, which doesn't give them anything. Yeah, that's... let's take a look at my economy here. I have 8 stars per turn, whereas my opponent is rolling with 14 stars per turn. 
and they didn't defend their village so they're going to lose it <laughs> and remember how many units they had oh they're gone so that's a gamble they took yep <laughs> and they gave up that was a really quick fight so let's do another one let's do a random match on continents once again i would like to do imperius today thank you and we'll wait again for something to happen mate you want please make more players player game it would also help me get more views thank you oh no yes no yes no no yes 1600 elo excuse you you're not allowed to play against me let alone go first my man is going to play some anti or something no no they're not loads of farms dang that's impressive uh let's go to Le farms i like farms so what are they playing uh probably kiku Probably Kiku, because I am Imperius, so it must be Kiku. Okay, so over here. Yeah! Gambling! Gambling is fun! <laughs> Except when you lose, then it's not that much fun. Uh, but I digress, I digress. So many farms, dang! Is that... Is that giant material? I don't... I don't know. Is that giant material? So we're definitely looking at picking up farming here. Which is bizarre to me. Because farming is, in general, not that great of a technology. Especially with Imperial on continents. Another village. Lovely. I'm going for the lighthouse. Cool. Let's take farming. I should not have... Should I have grabbed that? Mathematicians, please confirm. Should I have or should I not have grabbed farming over there? Uh, I don't think it matters. Because uh, it will go up two stars in cost. And my economy would have increased... Uh, two stars, so... I don't think that that matters. So let's do this. Take that. Let's upgrade this. Take a workshop, train another warrior. This guy can go over. This warrior can go over here. This warrior can go over here and explore this way. We see water here, which has land on this side. We are playing continents, right? Looks more like a lake. So this is a perfect spot for an explorer. If there's a village here, which... I'm guessing there isn't. But there are two fruits. Which do make me think that perchance there may be, in fact, a village. Let's gamble. Oh, find another one. So you go over here. And we take this. And this is a bad move. So please, never do this. And never do this. So our economy is booming. Which is really nice. Because we're up against someone who is 1600 ELO. And the last time I fought someone with 1600 ELO, that did not end well. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to end. Unclear noun 12. This is kind of close to a giant already. Just... Hunting? 
Hunting for giant? I do want this. There's nothing over here. Over here? There's nothing over here. Go over here. There's a ruin. That is a ruin. A ruin. Uh, do we get hunting? That leaves me with uh, six stars. Can't make use of six stars. Um, no, let's just save them. There's no land tile over here, so I don't need to walk over here to check. And this guy goes for that ruin, definitely. We can grab hunting. Oh, we can grab hunting, get ourselves a giant here. Get another giant in our capital. With the, uh, with the monument. And then... Do we have enough stars for... And we need so... Many stars. We need so many stars. One, two, three. Uh, this would be seven. Twelve stars. Twelve plus seven equals 19 stars. Okay, we do have the stars for that. And we would have 25 stars. Okay, so that's not enough for taking fishing as well. Ooh, okay. Go over here. Going over here, going over there. Oh, hello. So now we definitely have enough stars. Uh, take hunting. Hunt. Farm. Pop growth. Farm. Giant. Mm, upgrade this city. Resources. Farm. Hunt. Park. Population, giant, thingy McBobber, and the warrior. And turn. <laughs> well, that was a uh, that was a turn. Okay, so they flee. I should have clicked on that thing so that I would know where it was going. So it seems like I have, wait, I was thinking, why are they, why do they have riding? Why, why take riding? I'm clueless. So definitely we do take fishing here before we capture this ruin. Maybe it gives us sailing. Maybe it gives us ramming. Let's take this. A veteran swordsman. That is not too useful. I will be curious about what's happening over here. And let's... Push both of these giants to the water. We can take a port, move this guy in, take an explorer. Uh, so now we know that that was not useful. Dang. Take a warrior. Warrior goes over here. We don't hit that. Uh, I mean, it's going to die anyways. I could have hit. This warrior can push towards that ruin. This veteran swordsman can go to the water. We can upgrade this city next turn. Uh, we do need to get control of the, uh, the water. And once again, I'm thinking, why not go archery? Archery has saved me so many times over the last couple of games. I think it's one of the... Uh, okay, that's a free kill, thank you. <laughs> of 
cool. Okay, let's push you. Stick this. We'll throw you over here. Go over here. Uh, I will need sailing. Okay, so we do see that. Let's push you over here. Just in case they try to get funny ideas. We don't allow them to have funny ideas. I'm the only one that's allowed to be funny. Even though I'm not. I don't care. I'm funny. You're not. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not funny. Um... So what are we looking at? We're looking at a warrior. We see another warrior. We see... Why so many riders though? So many riders. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, riders on continents, that usually doesn't work. Oh. Uh, hello. Can I... Can I say that I... Hello. I don't... I don't... I don't like you. Uh, okay, you go over here. I think this is the part where we uh, start... I should not have done that. Where we start pushing it with the giant. And the veteran swordsman. And we also make you useful. So now they have to deal with all of that. And yeah, next turn we can... Maybe, possibly, bada bing bada boom this village. That's what the giant's for. That's his purpose. They haven't gotten away. Oh, they have a veteran swordsman. Okay, they decide to take the village. Do they go... Okay, they link it up. Link it up. Explorer? Explorer. Nope. Workshop. <laughs> City is getting its leveled. Oh, they go for a wall. That's a smart move. I, I'm not sure if they know that there's a Juggernaut coming their way, though. Which may show you that that was, in fact, not that great of a move. They have so many riders. I'm really thinking, uh, let's just go archery. Archery is a good counter against all of this, whatever this is. Uh, let's go over here, see what's up over here. Let's uh, see what's going on over yonder. Take a scout, position him over here, go over here, go over here, and yeah, let's put you over here, and let's get archery, train an archer, and that should be a pretty decent way because they now have defense bonuses. And uh, let's get a warrior here. And next turn we should be able to siege this city. I blocked their movements so they can't really... I mean, they probably have riders. But I have a juggernaut. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, I imagine they have a juggernaut as well. Just one or two. Not too many, though. Can't imagine a 1600 ELO rated player being better than me. That's foreshadowing. Scout. 
liquid. That is... That's awkward. That's heckin' awkward. What are they doing? What are they doing? So if I just plop this guy into this forest, it's not a good way for them to uh, do much of anything. Oh, they... They want to hit that? Oh, they want to hit me. Ooh. But I can... I can hit that. Let's see what this gives me. Another swordsman! Well, that's fun. Hello. Can I siege? I can siege. So, how many points is this at? It's at... It's level 3. It would need so many monuments to level that up. That they probably have them. Um... Love to go with the rammer. Oh, I'm going to ram them. Not allowed. So what if I just block their uh, spots? Would that would that achieve anything? I'm guessing so. This guy's not doing anything anymore. Let's take another archer. If they have the monuments to do this, I'm going to be so salty. Okay, they're going for the Grand Bazaar. Uh, which is costly. And I can't imagine them having five, six cities all up over yonder. That would be kind of busted. Oh, they're going. Oh, they're going. No way. My guy. How? Why? Okay, that's... That's some serious BS. I'm not salty. You're salty. That is BS, though. How did they manage to get all of these? How do you have so many cities on your continent? That is seriously rigged. <laughs> that is rigged. <laughs> They're playing the best tribe in the game. I mean, sure, things happen. But... <laughs> Come on. It's just an uphill battle. I have to eliminate all of these scouts. The scouts are a problem. And now these guys have to race all the way back. So what's... What's going on? They can, they can wall the wind from there. It's not great. Uh, just do this, I guess. Still not great. They, they can probably kill that. Uh, I want some vision. No vision to be had. Cool. Very, very interesting gameplay we have here. I mean, if they have six cities, there's no way for me to come back, right? How did they get so many on their continent and I didn't? And now this giant is going to melt. I need a bomber or five to get rid of all of this. Killer monument. This guy is way too far 
into their territory. Yeah, they are going to destroy it. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> but I don't have uh, any choice. I, I had to attack them. That is crazy, though. How is this map so unbalanced? Why weren't there any villagers over here? That is crazy. <laughs> Not the funny kind of crazy, but it is crazy. What the heck, though? What is all of this? <laughs> I don't like this game anymore. Ride your roads on continents. Sure. Sure, buddy. Old buddy, old pal. And that's another juggernaut. That I don't really have a great way of dealing with. Uh, the attack. Kill. I could siege, but they are going to unsiege. What I could do is do this, which is very aggressive. But you know, maybe maybe it works. Maybe they will be so angry that they just let me have that. That's how Polytopia gaming works, right? You make someone angry, and then you win the game. Um, so, forestry. Forestry. Uh, just grab this. Take a border growth. Take another archer. Train a warrior. Why not? I am blocking their movement over here. So many riders. It's like Tolby all over again. So they do need to unsiege this. Which is... It's going to take some resources of them. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I do have information about what's happening on their territory now, which is useful. All of my cities are such high level, though. Don't really have a good way of uh, leveling. Oh, they're so defensive. Maybe I could make use of that. Because now they delayed their naval unit support even more. Uh, go over here. And... So this, this. That's a given. Make a warrior. Harvest harvest one two three push it into the boat I guess I mean it's gonna get killed in the, anyways uh, let's poke it let's poke it let's move these guys in so oh I don't I don't have stars no worry. There's this great thing called chopping. You may have heard of it. Uh, let's take another border growth. And... Uh, I'm gonna recover this guy. So we kind of have naval superiority. Which... If I think about that... That is... Okay, that's a good play. That's kind of interesting because, as you can tell, I'm not really winning the game. It's four to six cities at least. A 
but we have better port access currently. It's not going to take long for them to take over. Uh, so what I need is more rammers. I do need myself more rammers. Maybe math. Math could work. Not sure. What is this raft doing, by the way? It's not been doing anything. Need to get myself into the game. Got myself poofed. And I even knew that it was coming. Which is the worst. Hey, it was level three, right? How did they, how did they level that up to uh, level five, with two monuments? That feels like cheating. That, that's cheating. <laughs> They're cheating. Um, yeah, over here, over here, make a mistake somewhere, um, so, I'm not sure, definitely get another warrior. No use in uh, doing anything too spectacular. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I guess I can pull you back. And I want more naval units. More naval units is the answer to all of my problems. More units in general is one of the most important parts of this entire endeavor. Uh, yeah, I'll put you over here. Uh, I'll put you over here. Not sure. <laughs> yeah, you can kill that. It's not the thing I was worried about. So, oh, uh, that is annoying. No, oh, that is annoying. <laughs> Such an uphill battle. This is exactly as my master told me. If you are losing on t in terms of economy, you must attack. Well, I'm attacking, but there's no way for me to attack into this because they have more cities. Which, by the way, I probably had no way to compensate for that. And then I got poofed with no good reason for that happening. I'm not sure what, what's going on in this game. I feel like they're hacking. They're cheating. Okay, so... Uh... You need to get rid of that juggernaut. Oh. Well, that works as well. Not exactly the way I wanted to deal with that, but sure. More units. We meet more units on the water. We need so many more units. We need all the units we can get. We must gather them all and we must attack. 
for I am in danger. <laughs> See them just pull out a bomber out of their uh, out of their uh, little tin foil hat <laughs> and just destroying my uh, my giant with uh, fifteen hundred riders, which. I don't know how you're getting all of that. Your your economy is probably fine. But still. My goodness. I saw that poof coming, but it shouldn't be possible. What happened? What? The thing that happened over there, that should not have happened. Quite sorry about that, if you can tell. Oh, I want myself a bomber so bad. But bombers don't solve things, they just make it worse. Bombers. Bombers are such a scam though. They cost 15 stars. And they don't even kill anything. They just splash. If I wanted myself a water pistol, I could just get myself one, you know? No need to just scam people. Move over here. Kill that scout. Do a little, uh, little this. Hit that. I need to reduce the number of hit points that thing has dramatically. I'm not going for the siege. I'm I'm dumb, but I'm not stupid. I can hit that guy. Your warrior. Why not get myself another port? Train another warrior. Train another warrior. And I think that <laughs> it's fine. Oh, they're going for the kill again. <laughs> this is so annoying. My master would not approve of this game. I'm going to get destroyed gonna get roasted for playing like a buffoon making all the misplays I mean I'm still in the lead in terms of water and water good water do be good we love water water is the thing that gives us life it is the thing that allows me to win this game. Maybe, possibly. Churning out the units. They keep doing nothing. They just killed their own rider. Which I don't get. Why would you would do that exactly? Maybe, maybe the comments will know. Let me know in the comments down below if you know why why you would suicide your own rider like that. Maybe to provoke me? Maybe to give me another kill? Maybe because uh, losing sounds fun? I'm not sure. can never tell with these people. Bridge! That's not how bridges work. My giant blocks their movement. Uh, if they build a road here though, that fun is over. But now I know what their plan is. I need to step on that bridge. <laughs> oh, they make, a mis they make a mistake. They do make a mistake, finally. They, they finally show me one of their mistakes. Woo! I 
me kill all that. And kill that. Vision of this city. It's not too interesting, if I'm being really honest. Let's move over here. Let's do this and that. More units. We need more units on the water. We need so many units. We can do this. It's not a great move or anything. It's just not a bad, bad trade. And train another warrior. Can we get another giant here? It takes one, two, three, four, five. We need to chop once. That is definitely worth it. That was real close, guys. That was real close. Almost made a misplay there. So what I'm hoping is that... Oh, they're, they're going... They are going for it again. They have been so aggressive with their riders. I mean, they are right, though, for doing that, but... Still, I would say the, the actual important battle for them to win is on the water. Because water, good. Water, important. The only thing I'm doing here is stalling them from attacking me. So what I could go for is math and try to get into trade. Which, you know, that is, that is a move. That I could be going for. I mean. Is it looking good? Is it looking bad? Not sure. I can kill that. They have so many. So many things going wrong and right for them at the same time. I can I can kill that veteran swordsman though. That's important. I need to get myself into strategy as well. Just like they are. Oh, if only I had bombers. That would be such a nice snipe. He Rammer. I need to know. What? Yeah. Value. We love value here. Okay, so this guy is dead. Um... Uh, Don't like it. I don't like it. One, two, three, four. I mean, they can do their funny stuff nonetheless. But what we do need is more units on the water. More units. It's just a slaughter. Getting all of my units killed. Crazy battle. Uh, can snipe that. Recover. Uh, no more moves. Your turn. Yeah, that's a lot of value, but. I mean, in terms of naval units, I'm still winning because I'm just pumping everything out. Oh yeah, there, there it goes. Uh, I, that's not great. 
I need I need another giant. They're getting so many riders and so much value with them. I actually crit. Hello. <laughs> another suicide, eh? I mean, this is already veteran. Don't really see a purpose in doing that. Okay, so the fun thing is, there's there's no way that they can cross this. I mean, I could get knights or something. Knights would absolutely destroy this, but they probably have vision on it, and it's also very expensive. Ooh, that's not looking good. It's not looking good for our friend. But I have another. It's not looking good. This and this, and then this, and this, and this can kill that, then this, a little bit of this, and this, and this, bada bing bada boom, more units. More units. We need all the units. Pull back. The thing is, I don't want to give them anything. Anything they can hit. So it's no use in uh, training anything there. Which is a bummer. But I think that that's the right call. I get, I get Aquatism here. Let's see if it works. Aquatism is something that can really save your ass sometimes. My apologies, I mean arse. <laughs> okay, they're sacrificing that. Can they kill it? Yes, they can. Or can they? Oh, they can't. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. That is very important. So why did I go for Aquatism? Aquatism gives me more use out of all of my naval units. Which can be kind of wacky. It does give you more value from each and every unit that you put onto the water but it's also it's just tier 3 tech that's kind of expensive and it doesn't do much for at least you don't see it doing much yeah you can you can you can do that yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can put a lot of units over here. That's that's fine with me. Not not falling for it. Oh, so many units. I want a bomber. Do I have stars for bomber? That would be such a big blowout though. One, two, three. Uh, 16 stars and we need more. Oh, I can get that. Bada bing, bada boom. Jokes on you. 
I have a bomber. And that was really expensive, guys. But trust me, it's worth it. Bada bing, bada boom. So many sound effects that don't mean anything to any of you. One, two. Block it. Uh, chop once, chop twice. Move you in. Get a rammer. Block movement. Oh, server. That was not the moment to lag. Uh, I'm going to chop, chop, warrior, move you in, and turn. I don't think they have a way to deal with this bomber. I mean, they can they can do that, but they are losing a lot of their units, <laughs> and that doesn't even kill it. Lovely. Yeah, that's something you can do, but now I have a bomber. And I'm going to take control of this um, port. I mean, this juggernaut is going to ruin my fun, of course, but... The only thing I'm seeing here is that they are giving me a lot of free kills. Loads of them. And if there's one thing that I like a lot, that would be free kills. And free value. Four to six villages. Insane. That I I need to fight this. <laughs> I mean, it's going quite well. I feel like in terms of economy, we're just about equal. And they are moving their units out of range meaning that i can use my bomber on these two uh rammers which is fun do they have defense bonuses as well no no they don't how are they still in lead in terms of score this is a crazy battle I mean, free kills, though. Thank you for the free kills. I'm not falling for your trap, Mr. Wister. I need to get myself into uh, a point where I can uh, deal with all of this. Free value. Do I sacrifice it? No. I don't like the idea of sacrificing that guy. You can kill this. And... Double Rammer can deal with this which is expensive don't like that we need all the units in the world i'm not falling for your trap mister it's it's so obvious what you're trying to do that you should not do it need more warriors if i put any unit in the city, it is going to get sieged. And I don't plan on making any silly mistakes with that. Okay, free value for you, sure. You should get some border crows in these cities, man. That's another free kill, thank you. 
I'm slowly but surely going to get rid of your naval units. Which is gonna be great. He invested so many stars into these riders, man. As well as these roads. I mean, the roads are doing their job quite effectively. In all honesty. Effectively, I've only, I only have like three cities to make units, which is weird, but it's true. Um, mm, oh, they want me to move it over here. I'm not falling for that little trick. Silly goose. Uh, you can recover. You can recover. Not falling for any of these shenanigans. Uh, can they kill that? I guess they can with both of those. Uh, I'd rather do this then. Just be a little bit annoying to them. I don't need a unit now. Um, strategy. Probably the play here. Get a defender, get a defender. Still no use in doing anything over here. This is such a long game. I don't even know how it's going to end. We did kind of get water from them, but they are still getting a lot of giants, I feel like. And my giant potential is getting to a point where it's kind of low. Yeah, there is another. There is another coming. It's kind of difficult. It's a hard game. Oh, there's another giant coming. That might be an issue. In fact, it will be an issue. That will be very close to me. Uh, maybe diplomacy. Since I have archery, that may honestly be a good call. But what is important now is that I get this stinking city that I've been fighting for too long to get finally a hold of. Um, okay. Move these in. Move them in some more. And I can get a cloak this turn. And I don't think they have vision on that city. I don't hope so. Where is this guy going? It's not going anywhere. Just recover then. Oh, they're getting them. Oh, they can move it over here. That is smart. That is really smart. I 
I need to get a defensive position. Uh, it's, it's scary. I may be able to get this city though, which would be huge if I can get that. Couldn't kind of kite, you know? And all of these interesting plays going on. So many things that are happening. I, I could get a bomber here. Don't see much use for that. The thing I just need to do is whittle down this juggernaut, make sure that they can't um, can't just do what they want to do. Um, how does one do it? How does one do it? Let's say we need to get this juggernaut into that city. How much damage? only does three damage uh, gaming is difficult <laughs> gaming is difficult that does so much retaliation that is insane Get another. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. Finally. This guy needs to go over here. Go over here. Go over there. Kill that stinking jug juggernaut. Or, uh, the rammer. Language. Terms. Terms are hard. Uh, they are going to land it over here, so let's pull these guys back. And... Mm, so difficult. So difficult. Difficult decisions. I'm population capped on all of my cities, by the way, which is not really... Great, I'd say. Uh, maybe need to sacrifice this guy. What city is he? A bit more. One, two, oh dang. Yeah, he's going to get away to destroy that bomber. I need to push in on this side really fast now, or I'm gonna lose. Yeah, they're playing really carefully, uh, as they should. Can they unsiege though? That is the big, big, big question. If they can unsiege, oh, what? Oh, maybe I can. Hit that. If I can hit that, that's kind of amazing. I do get to hit this giant a bunch of times, though. I do need to get this um, war onto this tile. Oh, that is... That's not what I was supposed to do. Um... Need to put him over here. Mm. I'm finally getting a useful city out of the entire ordeal. Let's bomber this guy out of existence. 
and then we can hit that and hit this guy as well finally bringing up the pressure to him it's a wrong attack order doesn't matter I have so many units Over there, gonna get that. Uh, defender, uh, that's not worth it for the one star per turn. Okay, if they, yeah, they're sure, sure, man. Do as you please. One, two, three, one, two, but this is blocking it. So they would need to kill this warrior, unless I'm not seeing something correctly. Okay, yeah, they can, they can hit one of my archers. That's fine. Not too worried about that. I am worried about the second juggernaut though. That's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. Oh, they're getting so many things. I need to siege their capital ASAP. Need to reduce their ability to attack me by attacking them this is science destroy them I have so many units though so how much damage am I doing If only I could see the amount of damage I'm doing. Hello. This is a bug. They need to fix it. Hello. How much damage do I do? Plenty. But not plenty enough. I'd say. Hmm. Uh, one, two, three. I can't... Do what I would like to do. Or could kill that, I guess. You need to recover. You need to get out there and recover as well. You should go over here. And I want that starfish. Do I have a way to, uh... Mm. So at least... Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. And that's a real bummer. must put pressure on them as much as I can okay I'm sure just a couple of things that's a real real sucks for me moment But it's not over until it's over. Let's sneak up and see what's going on over here. Nothing much. 
So let's put that bomber into a very aggressive position here because we need to get going. Ah, it's such a shame and I can't do anything against this one giant. It's just a bit short. Oh, that is such a shame. Wait, one, two, three, four, four. I don't have a way to deal with that. That is so bad for me. I can say bye to both of these bombers. Probably. It's That is so close. I mean, it's close on both sides, but... Remember, they had so many cities for such a long time. They had a lead for basically the entirety of this game. So I'm actually quite surprised that they didn't win yet. Yeah, bye-bye archers. Bye bye archers. Ah, uh, they they were so useful for such a long time. Are they gonna siege my capital? I mean next turn, yes. Okay, so there's a there's catapult somewhere over here. Ah, if only I'd gotten more cloaks before. Or if I had gotten uh, math instead and I um, placed a catapult that would have killed this giant that was sieging. That would have been a game changer as well. That's just, I mean, I was taking a gamble with the with the cloak. Every time I seem to, every time I take a cloak, it seems to be a bad choice. It's just, I'm not, I'm not getting lucky, I guess, with the, uh, with the cloaks limbo. Cloaks are a limbo. They're a scam. Uh, let's see what we can do, though. We have to kill this. I basically have to siege their capital this turn. Defender. Go for that. Hey, go for this. Er, take those. Oh, if I can get construction. Oh, if I can get construction, I can. Get another giant here with uh, that and roads. That might work. Got a cloak. Can I kill that? No, I can't. So, uh, that's a bummer. Cloak. <laughs> okay, so I just need to make sure that I can unseage my capital and I can secure uh, their capital that's what I know is that oh dang what I know is that I have to siege their capital turn and turn again and that I can't let them take my capital no matter what. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. It's a tough game. Game of Polytopia is not a game for softies. You can kill that scout. They're roading in. What are they roading? I they want to kill that archer, yes. Oh, they can... Okay, no, they can't. Okay, so what I can do is just trap them in. Kill this rider. That rider specifically. What are they... Ah, oh, they can hit it another time! Uh. I mean... Do remember, this guy has a lot of elo rating. And this game has been going on for far too long. Stop placing roads, your turn is over. No, don't get another giant. How dare you get another giant. I hate this guy. Oh my god, stop. Stop bullying me. I've already lost. This is just mean. Whew. Okay. Um, so we kill this. I don't have a way to deal with that. Damn. I don't... I don't see it. Cover, defender. This is so mean that they have to put me through all of these things. I don't have time. Ah, uh, so short on time. It's just like real life. Do they have climbing? I don't think so, right? Maybe I can poof them. Can I poof them? We'll see if they have climbing actually. If they... Uh... Oh, they see a cloak. Oh, they see a cloak. I'm gonna siege my own city with a cloak. Okay, so there's something that's trying. They, they, are, they, they, they need to block me from. Uh... Damn, so many stupid catapults. The catapults, I, I, I told you already. Catapults strong. Catapults are good units. They are incredible units for stuff like this. Yeah. I mean, both of us are kind of low on uh, units now, but I feel like because they had so many more cities. I mean, two cities for like a gazillion more turns equals plenty more units to work with. It's 
scary life. So one and a two and then uh, I mean what could even have that range? Not sure. And then they're gonna siege next turn. I want to poof them. Okay, so I need to kill this. And I'm gonna attack them with the cloak. That's you should hopefully also siege the city. Yes. It's not over until it's over. Uh, put this guy over here. Yeah, I figured they had a stinking catapult. They have a couple of catapults even. That is crazy. The amount of catapults they have is insane. Look how many that is. No wonder I was not like fully able to grasp what was happening. Need to get right the roads. Yes. I can siege both of these cities with the cloaks I have. This is a hard game though. Okay, they're going defense. They are going defense. I mean, they have to, right? Can they even... Can they even unsiege? Can they unsiege? That's the big question here. Can they unsiege? If... We get this city back. I feel like we're doing okay then. So cloaks maybe was the right call. Maybe just overwhelm the amount of units they have with more spammy units. And that's going to win me the game. Win me the game, please. And then move a bomber in. Ooh. I I see options. Options are being halved. Halved. Had. Words. Language. Oh, they are going defense now. Ah, uh, now you don't like it. If it happens to you now, do you? My man has so many catapults and riders. He's been making so many units this entire game. But he's gonna take a, take a couple of cloak hits for the next couple of turns. Actually, just just one turn. Oh, they they saw a cloak. They saw a cloak. Must have seen that cloak. So there's a there's one somewhere. There is one somewhere. So we do get that city back. Which is lovely. Thank you. I'll have that back. Thank you. I want to hit this city. And I want to hit this city as well. They resigned! Let's go! Holy crap. That was that was a serious game. Oh that was that was lovely. Oh that was such an epic game. Alright guys, I definitely you guys like that. You you should like this comment this this video. I'm speechless. You should definitely like this video, subscribe to my channel for more epic Polytopia gameplay. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!